Hello everybody, this is the Lysol. Welcome to my week 28 roster update for my main account, the Lysol. Let's get started. So for this project, I put together the spreadsheet. As always, I have my farms spread into three tiers. This is different because it's Leviathan, it's just two. Uh, five characters per tier. I try and work on one character per week to get to the goal. Uh, as you can see, I am done with the Leviathan. I was able to get in under the wire. Uh, I got everything done on the 16th. Uh, we got Relic 9s on Revan and Malik. Uh, a Relic 7 on HK and a Relic 5 on Shorty this week. You know, I was very, very happy with my ability to do that. Uh, Due to the gear changes and all of the uh, the raid changes and all of that, it's made the economy for gear for purple gear much much better, and it gives me an opportunity to raise up the back half of my roster and pilots. I put together this spreadsheet here, looking at all of the characters that I wasn't looking at for my coming farms to try and get them all to gear eleven. Uh, in the left-hand column, they're a little more important than those in the right-hand column, but I'm just kind of getting them as I can. I'm being opportunistic about it. Uh, in the past week, I didn't really get much done, but I think I'm at 25 out of 75 on this list. I'm doing pretty well. I'm hoping to have this list done probably by the end of this year. Uh, I'll be able to, to speed it up a little bit uh, relatively quickly here. So uh, let's take a look at the gearing I did for this week. So I start with Seer Junda here. I take her up to six stars. I've been doing one refresh a day on Tarful and Seer Junda and Marin and none on Saw. Uh, it's a, how I conserve my crystals while still kind of pushing towards the new stuff. Uh, I activate Kinesa here, Nisa, however you pronounce her. Uh, she's going to be a, a Relic 7 requirement, I think, for GL Leia. GL Leia will probably be my next GL. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll, we'll see how it plays out. But I am going to be working pretty hard on these new Marquee characters. Then I take her up to like Gear 8 or 9 or something. And then I add her abilities. Let's see where we stopped on her. Gear 7. I, I decide to come back and add the abilities later, I think. All right, then we take a look at what we're working on here. I can take Sortie up to Relic 5, which uh, honestly I'm really happy about having added her to my roster. I still don't have the Zetas on her, but I think I will be adding them at some point shortly. Uh, I put Sortie on defense this week. Just because it's a filler team with relics on it. Uh, it's not a bad team like Rolo or something. It's something that somebody's gotta actually try and use a counter for, and it, it might draw somebody's Wampa or something. So I've decided that I'm gonna be putting Sorty on defense. I think I have Sorty, BB-8, uh, HK, IG-88, and I can't remember who the last one is. And here we go, taking HK up to Relic 7. Uh, this character, I mean, he's on my sortie team for now, but uh, I don't really know if this is even what I'm gonna be getting out of this. I, I don't think it'll be much, but you never know. It could be worthwhile. This The sortie team I put together might actually do something. Uh, I just finished my first round of GAC in fives. Uh, my opponent hadn't attacked yet, so I wasn't entirely, so I'm not entirely sure how it'll do, but we'll see. So yeah, here I am taking him up to seven. It's eating all my resources. This Leviathan chewed through all of the resources I had, and I saved up a lot over time. The way that I do things, I'm actually able to save signal data and relic mats and stuff over time. This chewed through them. Everything I had saved up is gone now. So I take HK to seven, he's done. Don't gotta worry about him anymore. Then I go to Malik here and I take him up to nine. 
And that runs out my impulse detectors. My impulse detectors, as you can see right here. Oh, nope, you won't be able to. Uh, we'll take a look at Darth Revan. Right there. I was five impulse detectors short when I was doing my gearing. But you'll see later, after I got my TW payout, or my TB payout, I was able to buy the uh, impulse detectors that I needed. Then I just start perusing. Uh, I am gonna need Captain Rex up as quickly as possible. So I just take him up to, I believe gear 10. I think I wind up being like four stun cuffs short of being able to take him up to gear 11. Yeah, there we go, that's it. I wasn't about to spend that much currency when I only had that little I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm trying to do. I think I wind up passing. Yeah, because he's gear 10. So I just apply all of the gear that I need to on him. All the gear that I can. Get him one piece away from gear 11. Uh, and I've also actually put my... Uh, Oh, I put the Omicron on him, yes. So I put the Omicron on him and I put Phoenix on defense. My Phoenix is not very well geared, but uh, I think it'll trip some people up. We'll see, we'll see how it works out. Uh, then I believe I go to Seer next. What am I doing? I'm just, I'm about to hem and haul over the Sorties Zetas again. No. So I take a look at Kanan. I take him up to nine. Uh, pretty much everything's done. I can't I can't use anything else. I'm, I'm, it's stun cuffs and carbontes that I, I ran out of this week. Then I believe I go to Seer next. I should have watched this before I uh, started recording this. Oh, uh, we go through the G11 list, see if there's anything that I, any buttons that I can press. I don't think there are. Like, I guess I could have taken Luminara up a gear level, but I wasn't about to do that. Or Young Lando up one. It wasn't really worth my time. Yeah, that, this is, these marquee characters have slowed down my ability to get do that G11 stuff, but it's okay because I, in the end, it's going to be worth the investment. Oh, do I take Talia up? I think she needs us. Carbontes as well. Yeah. Yeah, I take a, take Talia up to 10. She can't go to 11. This piece right here is a pain. Then we go back to Leia here to see what else we can do. There's nothing really. Wicked's pretty close, but I think he's Carbontes that are needed. Yeah, both of those are stun guns with Carbontes. And I think they both needed the uh, back to gels as well to get to G12. Let's see, I think I go to Seer now too. And then I, I think this is where I apply a Zeta and an Omicron to Seer. And I've put a Seer team on defense this time around too, just to see if it'll trip some people up. Uh, I think I do the leadership. I'm um, hemming and hawing again. Let's see, where are we going, where are we going? I'm gonna look at the sorties Zetas again, aren't I? Nope, Cal, oh, yes, I add the last Zeta to Cal. Do I? No, I don't know what I did here. I'm pretty sure it's just Seer. This is all just my roundabout way of getting this here. Yep, yeah, there we go. So I add the Seer Zeta to her leadership. 
I think I just come right back and add the Omicron. Maybe I did it off of, uh, maybe I didn't record it. Let's take a look to see if there's any ships that need any upgrades, which I do every time after I gear. There was one there, but it was a first or a resistance one. Oh, and this is after my TB payout. And I was able to take Darth Revan up to Relic 9, making me eligible for the event, the Leviathan event. All right. So let's track my progress from 7.9 to 7.16. I went from 9.052 million to 9.091 million. I went from 191 to 194 Zetas. It's actually 195 now because later on in the week, I put a Zeta on Darth Maul's lead for the stealth feat for Galactic Challenge. And then I ended up not using it. I ended up using R2-D2 on JMK to get the stealths. Uh, Omicrons, I went from 17 to 19 because I added Rex and Seer. Uh, G13s, I went from 110 to 112. G12s, I went from 20 to 17. And G11s stayed the same at 43. So for next week, I'm trying to get Sith Marauder up. I'm working on C and I am working on the, him as a pilot for my Leviathan fleet. So as you can see here, I need quite a few med packs. Uh, that's pretty much the only thing I need multiples of. Uh, there's also those uh, hypo syringes. Overall though, it's a lot of disparate gear, so it'll be easy to farm, because you know you get bits and bobs here and there as you go. So my plan for next week, Dark side, light side nodes, we're still farming Seer, Saw, Tarful, and Kairos. Cantina, it's all signal data all the time. Fleets, we got med packs, hypo syringes, I guess security scanners. I'm also farming gold pieces too out of there. And Marin, who I'm doing one uh, refresh on. And my goal for next week is an R7 Marauder, a G11 Rex, and a G11 Cal or Seer hopefully both. I was literally just looking at the amount of gear I need and I think I can make it. I need about 150 Carbontes and 100 Stun Cuffs and like 40 Cairo Shock Prods to be able to do all three of those, Rex, Cal, and Seer. I don't think I'm gonna make Marauder, so I don't have to factor in the Kairos needed for him. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like, subscribe, comment in the comments section down below, and you can join me on Twitch or Discord. Both have links in the description. I hope to see you guys there.